Today, the Supreme Court announced it will weigh in on President Obama's executive order halting the deportation of millions of people who came to the U.S. illegally. The high court showdown will play out in the middle of a presidential battle in which immigration is one of the most divisive issues. NBC's Brian Moore has this story from Washington. The U.S. Supreme Court today agreed to referee the fight over President Obama's efforts to shield more than 4 million undocumented immigrants from deportation. The 2014 policy known as DAPA allows some adults here illegally for more than five years and without criminal records to stay if their children are U.S. citizens or lawful permanent residents. It also expands protections for so-called dreamers, young immigrants brought to the United States illegally as children. It all happened by executive order and without a vote in Congress. Yeah, this, uh, you know, ultimately is a reflection of a president who's determined to do everything he possibly can to try to fix our broken immigration system. But Texas and 25 other states successfully blocked the move in the lower courts, claiming they'd be forced to pay a high price for those allowed to stay. If the states win, the lower court battles could rage on long after President Obama's left office. And if the president wins, the policy could be in place right as the race for the White House is heading to the finish line. No matter how this case goes, it's going to inflame the bases of both parties. And the decision will sharpen the boundaries of presidential power. The court is expected to hear the case in April with a decision by late June. Brian Moore, NBC News, Washington. One key argument in the challenge to the president's order is the expense it could bring to states because the immigrants would be eligible for work permits and therefore driver's licenses. KXAN News anchor Sally Hernandez spoke with Denise or Dennis Gilman, director of the UT Law School's Immigration Clinic, about the cost versus benefits. But the standing decision was essentially made on the basis that the state of Texas is going to lose money because it's going to have to issue additional driver's licenses. Well, it's just not clear that that's really the kind of harm that would allow standing to bring a challenge like this to the Supreme Court, particularly when you consider that there's a very minor dollars cost, $5 or so cost in issuing additional driver's licenses. Are we talking about, though, that that money adding up for if we issue driver's licenses to the, it's been said, 750,000 mm -hmm. uh, immigrants Ill illegally here in the state mm -hmm. would need those driver's licenses and then with that dollar amount just keep on adding up and eventually cost us or is it offset by the productivity these people would bring. Right. Well, there's a very significant argument that it would be offset by the economic benefits to the state. We're talking probably another million dollars in tax revenues alone. Plus, then you have to consider the additional buying power of families of uh, employees who have more stable job and living situations so that they can contribute to the economy. And again, that was Denise Gilman. And Texas argued 500,000 people living here would qualify for a driver license under the president's order. And the order does not include funding from the federal government to issue them. The justices also said they would consider whether Obama exceeded his authority under federal laws and the Constitution.